It's your boy Kane Brando, and today I'm coming at you with another review of Grownish Man. Uh, this time it's Starboy Episode Four, and um, a lot of stuff went down, y'all. Shout out to my cup, my curly head cup bitch, cause you know that that that's Zoe, you know that's what Cash called him. But let's get into this review. I love this episode. Just telling y'all this right now. I love this episode. It was it, it was everything that we needed. Everything that we needed. Except for the end. I don't like the end. I, I don't like the end. Y'all know I don't like the end of the, the episode. Y'all know I don't like it. Well, the end, but not the end end. Not Aaron part, but you know, Zoe part. Ugh. Let's get into this review. Yeah. Take me to the truth. So we start off with Zoe in Dean Parker's office. Uh, well, she wasn't in Dean Parker's office. She was like in the lounge or whatever. And she was giving a whole little monologue about how um, everybody's trying to figure out their place in the world and everybody else has already gotten it. Like she's comparing everybody like uh, Mark Zuckerberg and all those people who made it in college and all that like right away and how the expectations is just like there for you to do something big really quick. And then so she it transitions her into Dean Parker's office where she needs a letter of recommendation. I don't know how she needs a letter of recommendation when she did the Teen Vogue thing in Blackish, but that's beyond me. Uh, but she needed a letter of recommendation for the Teen Vogue uh, apprenticeship. apprenticeship. Um, and in order for her to get it, Dean Parker told her, you got to tutor Cash Money, Cash Mooney, whatever dude name is. I don't want to know his name. <sighs> But she got to tutor him in order to get her letter of recommendation. At first, she was all like, you know, it's probably other ways that I can get it. But Dean Parker said, you know, if you want the letter of recommendation, you got to tutor him. So she had no choice. Uh, then it transitioned into her friends, Nomi, Skylar, Jaslyn, Anna. It, like, Anna, you did like a whole 180. Just like a whole 180. Because before, you was all like, la la land and rainbows. And now you like, she's going to get bound. No, she's not. No, she's not. Um... But yeah, like all of them, they convinced her like, you know, you should do it, you should tutor him. And they're like, you know, it's going to turn into some other stuff. And then she's like, no, nah, because you know, past episodes, she was like, you know, no more dudes and all that stuff. You know, good. You know, wait on me. Wait on me, okay? Wait on me, okay? Uh, but she said no dudes and all that. And Nomi, you are like the, I'm telling you, you like, you like kind of my favorite girl character on this show. Kevin, Kev Kevin Hart. You, you just missed the list, bro. You got taken off, man. It's, it's just Cash and Odell Beckham. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Kevin Hart. Too bad. <laughs> and this episode was like a double standard, but we're going to get to that one at that part. Um, and then what else happened? Because y'all know I take notes every time. So I got I to gotta roll down the checklist. Um, and now Anna knows, like, you know, I, like I just said, she knows what, like, uh, the hooking up and boning and all that stuff is. So I'm like, you know, she kind of did a 180 right there. And no love from Aaron, y'all. Aaron got no love this episode. This was hilarious. His punchlines were hilarious. Like, his just, it, it, you could tell he just looked like a lost puppy. He looked like a lost puppy. Because, you know, he don't got Zoe no more. I wish ain't none of them high, so, you know, let me stop hating. But, um, yeah, Aaron looked like a lost puppy. Cash was really funny, too, because he just act like this little douchebag. He's just like, you know, I, I, I don't have time for a selfie. He's like, you know, I'm not even coming for a selfie. And then he just walked away. That was just amazing. I just love that. Um, and very aggressiveness from Skylar and Jaslyn. Like, dang, y'all felt that threat? That threat? So when Zoe chooses to tutor Cash, Cash blows her off. Yeah, he, he, he kind of should have knew this was coming. He's an athlete. He practices a lot. So he blew her off. And she was like, you know what? I ain't having it. There's other stuff I can do to get my letter of recommendation. And then she literally ran away. Like, she ran away. And he chased her. And that was like, that, that was really funny. That was like, that was gold again. I love that. Because she was like, uh, he was like, it's going to look like I'm chasing you. And she was like, that's because you are. I mean, he was. Uh, but Cash, you know, he he had, he put on a little smooth talking stuff. He called her pretty. That was, that was it. That was what got her to tutor him again, was him calling her pretty. I'm like, you know what? I'm like, they could have made the, the chase a little bit more better. But I guess, like, the pacing of this episode was a lot better than last week's. Because last week's was just... It was a little too fast for me. A little too fast. And, um, yeah, you are stuck with that nickname for 
forever. The, the nickname's not gonna change. You will forever be the cup girl, and that is me putting it in a nice way. Um, and Aaron, oh, dude, you just, oh man, th this whole episode, you just was, you was play hey, then you was hurt. You 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 were really hurt. You were genuinely hurt, and you can just feel it throughout the whole episode. And what happened to Luca? Where's Luca? What, what 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 happened to him? Like I I wanted to see the the, the triangle. Now it's just like they switching Luca out with Cash. Like what what, what what's going on, y'all? What's going on? It was a lot of awkward moments here from uh, Cash and Aaron. A lot of awkward moments with Aaron. Period. Um, you just I kind of felt bad for you. I really did. From last week, me hating you, I'm like, dang. Look like he just, he, he done lost it all. Because he did lose it all. He lost it all. And, uh, yeah, this is kind of the double standard time. But it's like introducing it. Uh, so, Nomi, she has uh, this girl or whatever. And then uh, this dude, he tries to buy them drinks. Because, you know, he's like, he didn't know they were like going out on a date and all that. He was trying to be nice. He was being genuine. And then uh, the girl, she was like, you know, she don't like uh, vibes and all that. And then he was like, well, she is. And then the girl just left. So she started talking to the dude who wanted to buy them drinks for not knowing that they was on a date. And then um, we gonna, we, we, we gonna go back to that part later because it, it, it's coming. Um, and yeah, this, this is, this, that part was so funny because I'm like, dang, G, it's 2018. And then she left out to be in the uh, LGBTQ, uh, LGBTQ and all that stuff. Uh, and it was funny because Nomi was just like, you know, you leaving me out too. Uh, but the girl just wasn't having it. So she started to date the other dude. And then uh, we go back to Cash. Everybody is just like giving up on him because he, he sucks. He sucks at this point. He's terrible. He's not doing nothing for the team. He's just crazy. And then we go into Kenny the Jet Smith. TNT uh, NBA analyst, like my my that's like my favorite sports show. Like if you want to count that as a sports show inside the NBA, favorite thing he broke down the whole thing of how the NCAA is the biggest finesse ever ever, cause they profit billions and billions of dollars off of college sports, and they don't pay nobody nothing but the coaches. Like like literally they bring in billion dollar TV contracts and pay people nada. Now that, that's why I'm supporting LeVar Ball in his stuff. I, I will support him 100%. And now, um, Zoe, she's the only one that's defending Cash. And she's like, you know, give him a chance. He's going he gonna to get out of it. And then um, he, he going he gonna to play out of it. And he's going to start back doing good. Uh, Zoe, you know, you don't know how to play Bop It. You don't know how to play Bop It. And uh, Skylar and Jaslyn, dude, like, you, you two together, your chemistry, just perfect and don't worry all college students broke i ain't in college but i forget when i get there i'm just gonna be just like one of y'all um and how is a burger like like husband and boyfriend material if that's the case i, I, I might as well start buying girls burgers because i mean for real if that's the case if that's how we going um but yeah back to the storyline everybody gave up on cash zoe was the only one that stuck up for him and um that kind of paid off for her in the end. Well, it didn't pay off for her in the end, but uh, she kind of got, like, recognized for it. He, he, he never forgot who was, you know, stick, who was with him when he was going through his tough phase. So, Cash, he was in a slump, and then everybody was giving up on him. Even the dean gave up on him because they stopped Zoe's tutoring of him and gave her the letter of recommendation. But she was like, uh-uh. I ain't going for that. I started this. I'm going to finish it. We're going to pass this together. It's not even that bad that I'm tutoring him. And she starts to, you know, I think... She starts to kind of develop feelings for him. I, I don't know. This is not going to last long. I know this is not going to last long. That's why I'm not mad. Because this, this is probably just a one, two episode max. Definitely not. Definitely not going to stretch out to know. To know he's he he's not here to stay, okay? I'm good. He's not here to stay. Uh, you know, this triangle is still there. They probably just took a break. You know, we, we could have used some of that comedic stuff. Because they're gold together. That go, but Aaron, your punchlines was just there this episode. It was great too, and um, yeah. So they started to work hard and catch. Since he's in the slump, he's giving up on everything. He's like, you know, I might as well stop going to class. I might as well drop out, do all this other stuff. And it's always like, you know, you have so much more to offer than your basketball talents. You know, you make all these videos and stuff uh, about yourself on there. You should do film study. You should do film and all that stuff. And he's like, you know what? 
I'm gonna stop stressing because that's what she's basically telling like you know it's other things that you can do if you don't make it now so you know don't stress about it it's gonna come to you your game gonna come to you you're gonna do what you gotta do and then it eventually like that that helped him because dude dropped 50 on him 50 or 13 assists like 50 something 13 assists dude was going ham and um yeah back to the double standard thing oh this was so funny because it's just like huh like <laughs> what so basically what the girl was doing uh, to Nomi, Nomi did to the dude, and that was hilarious because she just like lost all attraction whatsoever when he said uh, that he was bi, and then everybody just got weirded out. I'm like, oh man, it's 2018, bro, you can't be doing that. Uh, you know, you gotta be accepting and all that um, stuff. Aaron, Aaron's response was just like, huh, huh, and then the twins was just like, huh, but man, that was funny to me. Um, yeah, Cash dropped 52 and. This might be the, this this is the point of the episode where I just, I died laughing. They pulled a Derrick Rose. They pulled a Derrick Rose, man. They had somebody take cash test. That was hilarious. So it was like they, they weren't messing with him when he wasn't doing good. But when he dropped 50, they was like, you know what? He's got a future again. So they, so they made somebody take his test. They could have had a black dude take his test. Why? They got a white nerd to take his test. Uh... And that was hilarious because it's just like when he hands in the paper, they're going to be like, your name's Cash Mooney. That's going to come back to bite him in the butt. Uh, but yeah, they basically put out a whole bunch of stuff that happens to athletes and stuff. And stuff that people don't take into account, you know, all the training and all that that they go through. So this was great. I feel like colleges is the, uh, I mean, not colleges, that's what the show was called before. Grownish is basically what high school seniors and people that's in college or whatever end up really need because it's it's like it's tackling our issues, their issues, and stuff that's like that. I really like this show. I love the show. Actually, I love that it just it's like blackish, but it's just like its own show. It has every bit of everything that you love about blackish, and then it has like the millennial uh side to it, uh, that I really mess with. And um, yeah, you stuck with that nickname forever, Zoe. He 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 shouted you out on TV. Uh, you know, shout out to my curly head cup girl, and that's me being nice. And she was okay with that, because I told y'all she's starting to catch feelings for him, but it's not gonna last. I'm telling y'all that now. This is a one, two, two episode max thing. This is two episode max thing. It's not going past two episodes, but this episode was great, and it ended with, um, her, like, confronting him, and she was like, you know, why weren't you taking a test? And she was like, you know, we good, we good. I dropped 50, we good. They they, they make somebody take the test for me. This happens. And then she's just like, okay. Or like, she really dumbfounded. She don't know what to do. And it, it the episode ended with Aaron questioning everything. Like, Cash, did you really mess dude up? Like, he, he like, I, I felt sad for him. Because he was just searching, like, you know, jobs for revolutionaries. It ain't nothing pop up. That's, I feel like that's kind of what everybody goes through, wondering what you're going to do in life, wondering what you're going to be, and th this is hitting him right now. That's hitting him right now because, you know, he lost his girl to somebody who has a future, has a career, has everything, like, planned out for him, and he's just kind of struggling, you know, because it's not really a market for, like, well, I mean, it is, but uh, to him, he's trying to figure out, like, how can he, you know, be that per be that provider and all that stuff. Um and have a future for his own but yeah this episode was great i loved it i'm excited for next week it was good it was great and um where was luke at man we missed the comedy i missed the comedy with luke and aaron man they were supposed to clash every episode at least give me two punch lines maximum but aaron you know the, you just had the puppy dog look on you man we're gonna pray for you we're gonna pray for you uh, that's it, y'all. It's been your boy, King Brando. This has been Gronish Episode 4, Starboy Review. Um, and yeah, thanks for live tweeting with me. I really enjoyed that. Uh, y'all showed up, and, um, we had fun. Like, I'm live tweeting next week. Same thing as usual. Um, this has been your boy, King Brando. Make sure y'all like this video. Subscribe to, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel so y'all can watch this every week. Because I'm, I'm doing this every week. So subscribe to the channel. I can't stress that enough. Subscribe to the channel, y'all. We had 700 subscribers. You know, I'm trying to get to 1K by the end of this month. Um, we're at 700. 700. Like, 700. So we, we need to keep climbing up. So subscribe to the channel if you ain't already subscribed. Like the video. 
post notifications um thing i like to call the three clicks if you're new to it like subscribe post notifications easiest thing you're gonna do is be your boy king brando and uh peace yeah